part of being a soul is believing in your own power. Now, more than ever, you want to believe in your own power. You want to believe that you can create the reality that you want. You can believe that you're being soulful by understanding how powerful you are. Self-love is always the foundation for any success, success being defined by you. Self-love is always the foundation of every success that you experience and every success that you help others to experience. So the number one thing you can do to be more soulful is to believe in your own power. Believe in your own power. Believe in your own power. It's really easy to see other people and having more hand in what happens for the unfolding of your future than you. It's easy to see that it's legislators. It's easy to see that it's the World Health Organization. It's easy to see that it's germs. Might not be a person, but a thing. It's so easy to believe that they all have more hand in what your reality looks like than you do. They don't. They don't. They don't. And as we just looked at in this period of accelerated enlightenment, what you put out there, it grows faster than it ever has before. There's something about this vibrational energy that double downs or, um, or exponentially adds to whatever you put out there. So in this transition between isolation and reemergence, think about what you want and believe that you have the power to magnetize it, to create it, and to co-create it. Understand that soulfulness is going to be, how do I, uh, how do I say this? I, the simplest way for me to say it is that soulfulness is going to be re more rewarded than anything. But living awake, since accelerated enlightenment is having clarity of soulfulness, the vibration of soul, the vibration of love, you're going to magnetize in more help than others will magnetize in for whatever it is you choose, for whatever it is you want to do. Whatever you would like next, now is the time to think about it, to feel good about it, to peek at it and see, what, it, what are my beliefs? Do I think that it's possible that this can happen? Do I love myself enough for this to happen? Now is the time to think about that. Now is the time to get ahead in the new soulful climate that we are co-creating, okay? Be the one that knows what it is that you want. You stay clear on what you want and you will manifest it now more than ever. When I was channeling the answers, I... Um, was amazed at the end of that book how they had the 10 list. And there was a very careful set of instructions in that 10 list about how to, how to manifest the life that it is that you want. And, and that 10 list was ask for or write down 10 things that you want and always keep 10 things on the list. And there were a couple of aspects to that that I was curious about, like why 10? And also the shoulds and the woulds and the have tos about the list. What can I put there? What I can't put there? I was very curious what the guides were saying about that as well. You can't put time on there because the universe doesn't respond to time. It's an, un it's an unknown. It doesn't exist. It doesn't have any energy. It's only a tool for us to use here. So when you're putting out what you want, you can think in terms of time but the universe doesn't know how to react to your version of time. It's going to be expeditious and try to get you something as quickly as you are believing in it and focusing on it and feeling jazzed and excited about it, but it's going to manufacture it in its own way, depending on all of the moving parts that it has to bring together to allow these miracles to occur. 
So you can't really put time on there and you really can't put a specific name. Like I would love my daughter to meet someone and get married and blah, blah, blah. You can put on there what you want, abundance, good health, relationships, with you at the center of everything you put on that list. When we don't love ourselves fully, it's harder to think in terms of, can I make this list or is it selfish? Selfish has a, has a negative connotation on earth. And in that context, if we say selfish, we do kind of see it as being unkind or only thinking of ourselves. But if we understand that writing down or feeling or believing or putting excited feelings to what we want is self-focused and that all soulful choices lead to our own personally defined success, we, when we recognize that we become whole when we are self-focused first, then we also get to see that the byproduct of that is that whatever we have manifested, we will have an abundance of it. And therefore, we'll have more resources to make contributions of value to others. We'll have more of whatever it is we created, whether it's time or money or gestures or volunteering or um, good deeds, um, kind words, whatever it is that we can give to others is going to come from a place of an overflow of what we have developed in our own lives. So we're not